Welcome to this week's Dirt Church Show live, kind of live, yeah. at Seattle 2022. Yeah, we have just got through the first day of the Seattle Classic and we have got an amazing show lined up for you. Um, we've got Doddy coming in a bit for his favourite stand of the event and we've got Anna bringing in the blingest bling Plus, we've got a live bike vault. Yes, we have. And we're going to find out what's in store for the future of mountain biking. <laughs> That's I'm all. looking forward to it. That's all we're doing. Yes, welcome to this week's show. Oh, this is so exciting, Bing, isn't I it? I cannot wait. To oh. explore Sea Otter. I tell you what, this event, I came here last in 1999. 19. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> shut up. And I tell you what, it has changed, so it's so big. It is massive. Compared to oh when I was here in 2020, uh, 2019, it's way bigger. Yeah, it's, there's it's, a lot more going on. It's so, so good. Um, and we are going to get into that a lot. But I tell you what, this week's topic's really interesting because we're seeing everything that is available in MTB right now. Right now. Okay. Yeah. So it got me thinking, what is the future of mountain biking. So in five years time, what's mountain biking going to look like? So, so Bingers, what do you think is going to happen in mountain biking and how is it going to change? I, do you know, I, obviously it's going to be the technology is going to be moving forward rapidly. Like, look, yeah. you've got gears on your bike that's got no wires. It's Bluetooth. This old thing. Bluetooth. This old it. thing. <laughs> so Blue and this, right, adaptive mobiles and everything, I feel like technology is going to go leaps and bounds. Yeah. Like you probably have Bluetooth brakes. We don't know. <laughs> that sounds scary. <laughs> but that might happen. But I tell you what, okay, I'm, I think you're right. I think it's going to be some amazing technological advances and riding advances, but I don't think we're qualified for this. No, I don't think so we are. On my way <laughs> here, I dropped in and found some experts who know, a couple of guys who gave us some great insight into what's going to happen in mountain biking. So check this out. Peter, we've been walking around this test lab, so this seems like a good spot to ask you, a man in the know, what's coming in the future of mountain biking? That's what I'm trying to find out this week. Um, in, in the, just generally in the technology, because some of this stuff you're showing me is making you think, what do you know that's coming down the line? Like five years from now, what can we expect? Well, of course, I can't really tell you what's gonna come out. I didn't think you were gonna. <laughs> but otherwise I wouldn't be in marketing if I just no, right. told you. No, right. But I mean, I think the thing that we're seeing is it's becoming so hard to make huge advancements. Okay. You know, the, in, in the past, it was pretty easy to make big improvements. And we saw that a lot in bike design. Yeah. You know, you look at where the bikes are now versus two years ago versus 20 years ago. Yeah. These huge jumps. Big leaps. Similar changes in protection, especially mm -hmm. in head protection. Yeah. And you start out with these basic helmets that are a little more than styrofoam lids with maybe a cloth <laughs> shell yeah. over it. But basically and didn't work. Yeah. Well, they worked. It was better than, you know, the hairnet, the sausage helmet, those things. But <laughs> you, you jump past that to, you know, uh, an EPS shell and to a, a multi-layer helmets that we have now and the introduction of something like MIPS that helps yeah. with rotate yeah. and rotational the one you were showing, like, so the sphere, like with the spherical thing and yeah the... and so then you keep moving it's past subtle. that yeah. so you can hide the MIPS inside there using spherical technology you have something that's like a ball and socket design so the inside of the helmet rotates cool. outside rotates around if you get get in a crash yeah um, and so actually the tech becomes more and more subtle and I think that's the biggest thing that we're going to see that is going to all fade into the background. You can talk about all sorts of like electronics, but it's certainly in head protection, it's unlikely that you're going to see that integrated into a helmet because you don't want wires around your dome, especially no, when you're crashing. that's true. So you're not announcing an electronic helmet today? No, not today. God damn it! I thought I had a special exclusive then. There is a certain level of integration that you could have. There's some things that you might see in the future, but you know, certainly you aren't going to want a helmet, say, with turn signals on the trail. Yeah. You know, people need to just follow the trail and focus on what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's not getting any easier is what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, it's the challenge is really becoming more and more for the marketing guys. Yeah. To spell it out. Yeah. Because as you get these things closer and closer together, say, like with this wind tunnel behind us in the background, mm -hmm. 
it used to be that we could make these, these massive improvements on ventilation and measure it using some of those things I showed you earlier. Yeah. Um, and it would be, oh, hey, this is 20 degrees cooler or something like that. Yeah. Now it's like one degree cooler or something. <laughs> you know, and yeah, yeah. it's a benefit. Yeah. So it's, you know, continue to make it lighter, cooler, better looking. Better looking helmets are something we're always working on because yeah. we want people to wear the damn things. Yeah, yeah. You know, the safest helmet is the helmet that you're actually going to wear. That's good, man. And you guys look like you're trying pretty hard. Who knows? What's next? So, Scott, I don't think I could ask anyone with more experience than you, what, 40 plus years, like from the word go in mountain biking, you've seen all the changes. What do you think is coming? What do you think is going to be the next big thing? Like on the level of wheel size changes or e-bikes, what, what is it going to be? I quit a long, long time ago trying to predict that. Right. Back in, back in the mid 80s, you know, we were building these steel bikes and we were riding up over Pearl Pass and places and it's like, how could this bike possibly get any better? So you fast forward, you know, 35, 40 years that so we've been around. It's like, well, they got a lot better, you know? Yeah. And so there's been a million incremental changes. You know, one of these days we're not going to ever have a flat again and we're never going to break a chain. And, you know, the, all those things are going to happen eventually. Yeah. But for me, the biggest developments in mountain biking are trails and trail access. And looking forward, it is the golden age now for mountain bikers. And I think this, this is true worldwide, you know, I've, I've, I've been lucky enough to, to travel all over the world and ride with, with people. And the trail centers, you know, like that you have in the UK, yeah. um, the, the trail advocacy groups that we have here in the US, and they're building these amazing trails, the skill level of the trail builders are, are insane. And of course, now we have the bikes that can take us there. And, you know, I mean, the, the modern day enduro bikes that are pedalable, yeah. right? And uh, so incredibly capable are just complete game changers. And the trails now are up to snuff with what the bikes are. And we're seeing so many efforts with so many communities that are bringing mountain bikes to impoverished communities, you know, places like, if, to keep, think of a couple of examples, like in uh, the States would be Downeyville, a little tiny gold mining town up in the Sierra Nevada. And that town has been revitalized by mountain bikes coming in. Oak Ridge, Oregon used to be, have two gigantic lumber mills and now the town is dead, except there's incredible trails everywhere and they're building more of them. And Oak Ridge has been revitalized as a result of mountain bikers coming in and the story is repeated over and over and over again all over the US Derby Australia was yeah. a you know yeah. fantastic place you know yeah. they built a bunch of trails and now Derby is you know seeing a renaissance yeah. so and it's on my bucket list yeah. I wanna, that's one of those ones yeah. I'm like I've got yeah. to go there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. exactly so um, so for me it's it's trail access new trail building uh, that are that is the bright future of mountain biking. As I said, I don't know where the technology is going to go. We we make these amazing incremental changes. You know, look at what's tubeless wheels. You know, and and things like that that have happened recently. You know, yeah. are incredible. You know, game changers. Uh, who knows where it's going to go next? But but for me, it is all about places to ride and the quality of the trail. I'm riding stuff that I never would have ridden back in the day, yeah. you know, 40 years later, you know. I knew so. you'd have an amazing answer. <laughs> that was so good. Okay, GMBN shop shout out time. Exactly. Did you know, Mr. Ashton? Right? I didn't, I didn't. If you went to our shop online, yes. okay, and you bought any sweatshirt or hoodie, yes. right, any of them, any and of them. paired them with a t-shirt, you would get 10% off. 10% bargain. It is 10% bargain. And plus that, our Into the Woods line is there. They're going fast. I've got one. Joey's got, Joey's one. got one. Joey. Say hello. Hello. He's got one. He's there for real. Blake, where's yours? I got tech team. Ah, see. Well, we're going to have to be fast. Get over to the GMBN shop and you can support us uh, helping making videos by buying our merch. Yeah. 10% off. Do it. 
Okay, let's get into the event, shall we? Please. Okay, right, tell you what I did. I sent Anna out with a mission, okay? Because she's a tech goddess and she knows what she's talking about. So I told her to go and find us the blingest bling. Oh, Could nice. she find it? Let's find out. Okay, Martin, I think I found your blingiest thing. This is the uh, Pocket Pro High Volume from Lesine. It's no stockier, shorter, compact tube so that it fits into any storage compartments on your bike is fully uh, serviceable and replaceable and of course is oil slick so it's super bling but then hold on a minute what is this cnc cage cnc machined lesine cage in oil slick to match as well i think the pair together gotta be the blingest thing Okay, Martin, I know I found the blingest thing, but surely you're gonna love this blingest thing, which is a custom prototype trials bike for Duncan Shaw with this custom paint job. Apparently the frame has been made around these inspired forks and you've got 24 inch Santa Cruz reserve wheels on their carbon with a custom continental tire and these kind of moto style breakaway levers with the uh, Magura. Yeah, so, I like that. Is that not the blingest thing? Told you. No, that's really good. Goddess, I'll give you a story, right? I've been looking around the show. That Marin is, that's, that was my favorite thing. You said it right as well. And it's nice. It's Super nice. nice. Come Ooh. on. Duncan Shaw's on our Right, now it's time for Doddy because he went out to find the best stand out there. Let's have a look. Well, Martin, you've asked me to find the coolest stand or the blingest stand here at the Seattle Classic. Stuff the stands. <laughs> look at this thing. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> How much travel that bad boy got? Well, you love to joyride this thing. Oh, I like that stand. That's a really good stand, that yeah, one. It is nice. That's really nice. Yeah, nice. Well yeah. done, Doddy. Right, okay, it's time for caption contest. Oh, disgusting. Okay, caption contest. Rich looking pretty lame in his sheepskin top and crocs. There. You said it. You said yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty lame. <laughs> okay, we've got one here from Stephen Graham. Oh, yeah. He says Rich was delighted when he heard he had a new shoe sponsor, Crocs for Life. Okay. <laughs> no, it didn't work for Blake. No. Next up, we've got the moment you realise your friends didn't mean this is, this is why they asked you not to bring the cheap race top with you. I think he means like the, the sheep. sheep. <laughs> that's that's funny. rubbish. Oh, that's right. rubbish. That was from I thought you'd like it. Hugo de Uden. Best <laughs> name ever. Last one is from Chris Bike and he says uh, Blake told Rich to come as Tweedledee. Yes. But he turned up as Tweedle Dumber. I like that one. That one's not really nice. Poor Rich. Poor, Poor Rich. Rich. But I like the sheep one. Sheep yeah. one. Really good. And what did you choose? We're giving away a stunt mug right here. So is it Chris Pike? Um, do you want to get it to Hugo Den Uden? That's the best name. Oh, that's the best name. Or do you want to give it to uh, Stephen Graham? Hugo Den Uden. Hugo Den Uden, you're a winner, and there's a stunt mug. Oh. Coming we... your way. Oh. It that's... looks something like that. It looks something like that. It's on its way. What's up everyone? This week we've got new bike launches, team changes and some great events to look forward to. Let's get stuck in. We're going to get the bad news out of the way first. Ceramic Speed Office in Colorado was targeted by bike thieves. Now the bike thieves apparently don't know too much about cycling as they stole two bikes equipped with their prototype chainless drivetrains. Pretty unique those things. Good luck shifting them on eBay. Right, on to signings now. Ineos Grenadiers have made a serious commitment to Tom Pidcock, re-signing him to the team for five years. The guy's not a jack of all trades, he's more like a master of all trades, netting them results in road races, cyclocross and smashing his first year in elite cross country with a few casual wins and a gold medal at the Olympics. Free rider Carson Storch has also landed himself a new deal on propane bikes too. A few new bikes now. After many a year, Orange has released an update to their enduro bike, the Switch 7, just ahead of this year's EWS season. And get this, it's a linkage driven single pivot. Alright, calm down. It's not the first time Orange have strayed from their single pivot mainstay, and this bike still remains that familiar Orange look to it. It's got 170mm travel front and back, mixed wheel size, 36% progression, and all the long low slack numbers you'd expect. Another mixed wheel launch, Intense. They've updated the tracer with a storage compartment on the down tube that they're calling Chad, a flip chip for geometry tailoring, and again, 170mm travel front and rear. And finally, there's a new uncaged edition from YT. 
This time, it's the Jeff Seeder gets the treatment with this sweet new nut butter colorway. Hand-picked build on this one, featuring Cane Creek suspension and a SRAM GX access drivetrain. Well, that's it for news, but don't forget the entire team are out at the Sea Otter Classic in Monterey. Expect to see loads of cool content coming up on the GMBN Tech channel, and of course over on the EMBN channel too, plus loads more great stuff coming on GMBN. Right, Marts, back to you. Okay, it's time for the bike vault, but this time, as we're a sea otter, we thought we'd do it a bit different. Yeah, right. a little bit of a twist, right? It's live with four of us judging bikes walking around the show. <laughs> Check this out. Okay, this is the calm before the storm. The event is about to happen, so let's go and do a live bike vault, find out if it's nice. Oh, super nice. And we've got some <laughs> experts with us too, so let's go and find some bikes. Where are they? This oh, way, mate. This no, way. No, no, come this way, Doddy. Let's go this way. Martin. Okay, next. I got okay. one. What? Go on. Through here. Through here? You'll like it a lot. Through oh, yeah? here? I'm sure you'll like it a lot. Here we go. Hey! Oh! They are all super nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is both the best thing oh, and also sorry. worst because he is now not going to shut up. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. Good to see you, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, buddy. How are you? Pretty good, you? Oh, man. Good to see you. Yeah, good, good to see you. I think we've Where stalled. Did you guys get in? Oh, let's just then. Yeah. You shouldn't have come here first. This is hanging up now. <laughs> Well, we actually, we're, I'm going to have to come back to you in a minute because right. we're on a clock right now. Right. But I've got to do a bike vault here. Which one's mine? <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, my God. Oh, it's okay. nice. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. nice. Yeah. yeah, it's Which nice. Yeah. It's you nice. Can get on this one? <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> Martin, look, nice. Your, your tire logo's aren't lined up. It doesn't yeah. get oh. super nice. It's pretty okay. simple. You can sort that can out. Can we change that? Well, no, it's, that's oh, no, how it is. You're just taking the mix out of whoever's built up the bikes. It is lined up. <laughs> it's a super, super nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be funny. Super nice. Ooh, that was close. I don't think you bikes. can get cars in there, but Balls. that's super nice. Here we go. We got a fridge cooler in there. Oh, here we go. Let's all lined up on a stand for us. Oh, hey, man, how's it going? Welcome. How are you doing? Thank you very Hello. much. Oh, yeah. Good. We're just doing a quick, quick round and uh, reviewing some Stay bikes super one. fast. Is that all right? <laughs> oh, that's bike right. Packing First rig. up. Go to the bike packing rig, sure. Behind you. Okay. Behind no? you, Martin. Which one are we doing? That one. This one? No. Yeah. No, this one. No, this one. Oh. This you one. Give it out of these two. Bosch motor. Bang. Tick. Wow. What you've are you thinking, Blake? A Sine bike. <laughs> nice. <laughs> No, it's no. Nice. Pedals cool. are at three o'clock. Nice. Now we're all good. We nice. are purely aesthetically judging right now. Nice. Prepare it's to be nice. judged. I say that's super nice. Really? Oh, oh now we're this. talking. It's got the color and the sun and all that. Look at well, look that. The, the pedals are in, nice, right? the pedals in the wrong position. No, quick. Right, here here right, come on. Come super on. nice. Oh, quickly, so quickly. Come quickly, on, quickly. Come on. quickly. I'm doing my best. Get, get the other valve to the bottom. Oh. It is. Yes. But Basically, you can't not give it a super nice. <laughs> half half fast on the you old. Come on, XTR E13, full spray. The tyres are lined up, oh, even though nice. I wouldn't have done it that way, but yes. Yeah, they're super nice. Super nice. Super nice. Like it. There ding, we ding, go. Ding, 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 ding. Thank, super you, nice. thank you for the effort. <laughs> 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 Thanks, guys. See ya. Next we'll be by right properly over the next I few appreciate days. It, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this don't, one. Don't Martin. get, don't get me started one. This here. one. No, look, Doddy's going to go straight to that Doddy, this way first. Over this way first. No, no, no. But look over there. <laughs> no, but look at this one. <laughs> what is it? Stick to new look bikes. Back. Come look on. Look at the back. Back top row. The entire top row. Yeah, but what are those? <laughs> oh, do I have to do everything around here? Landfill. That's what they are, Okay. Martin. Landfill. I'm kidding. They look at that. That's look, cool. I like that one. Extreme. Oh man. I'd and, have an extreme. Like, that's basically an intense. So I'm in our Ranger downhill version. That one he won world champs the first time at Laguna. Come on. Look at that nice. One. That extreme. Super nice. Is super, super nice. nice. Super nice. Yeah. I want to. I want to go and see. I Let's go, go see this one. Let's go quick, see quick one. Quick one. Quick one on the back. That is that's a nice. Super nice. Pedals aren't lined up. Oh, super nice. <laughs> right. Oh. oh. Hey, oh. How's it going? Oh, oh, nice to meet oh you, damn! Nice look to meet at this finish. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Look at that finish. Is super that nice. like, like I, when I you think this like, is a universal a super nice. This, this is, is a banger super nice. Straight that's away. Straight up super It's got nice. tan walls. Are you a tan wall lover? I'm coming round yeah. to it. I love tan walls. I love them. No, look at this I'd tan like to have seen a tan seat, lads. That's oh, super nice all day long. There's a bit of tan in there. 
bit of tan. Valves lined oh, up. Yeah, a yeah, bit of tan. Shot. There you go. There you go. Super nice. Super nice. Uh, Next. Well done, guys. It was hands down easy. Hey, man. Backs, people. Can we judge your bike right in front of you? Hey, cool, Steve. let's have a look then. Very good. Hang on, what's your, what's your shins? What? How does it shins? rise? Um, right now it's yeah. not really riding too good in the derailleur. Okay, we will we'll look past that. We'll look fi <laughs> Super nice. I love the orange Super nice. Wheels. You've got the Beautiful right suspension, color. the right yeah. bars on there. Yeah. Really oh, yeah. It's probably... Yeah. That's sick. Should we vote? Should we vote? Should we vote? It's a super nice. Super nice. So super nice. Yes, bro. Nice right. one, dude. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Go and see the Shimano guys and get them to... All right. It's actually hard to judge a bike at this angle. Well, it's a specialised... Uh, yeah. So, Santa Cruz and a specialised... Uh, a few other stands, stands but part of it will have... Uh, well, let's do this the one. The Super nice. Tent. It's quite cool for it doing some bits of camera. You can actually get a view. Some jumps are judges. But don't be able to chill on because the roof's it's like a mirror like the whole thing is. And you literally cook. I did a show up there with Jonesy, but it's not just because you're above everything. It's like a real cool view. Which one's yours? The orange one. The nice. Orange and Santa Cruz. Right, let's nice. do the orange saying? one then. Which one are we The orange one? The orange one. Right, right yeah. in front of the man himself. He's, got, gonna... the, uh, he's got the, the, the black one. Yeah, that one. I said that was super nice already. Yeah, yeah but we're. I'm all about no, the stumpy. Would well, you, you call a colour mango? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. I'd, I'd say super nice. <laughs> yeah. It's classic super Santa nice. Cruz colour, no, isn't it? Yeah. Super nice. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. When in Rome? Yeah. All three. All three. It's like a sexy tube of toothpaste. I think it looks like it should glow in the dark, uh, yeah, and I'm kind awesome. of disappointed it doesn't. Colgate special, yeah. It's a special. rack full of super <laughs> nices. I love that. Stumpy Central. I like super it. Nice. Well done, super nice. Super nice. Super nice. Super nice. We're being too generous with the super nices. We need to find oh, some well, bad ones now. Some crap. Oh, these are all good. We need some bad ones. <laughs> See ya. This one I love. Well, we've this. Done so we've many already e done an e-bike already. We've done loads of e-bikes. Oh yeah, this? okay. I like it. Well, yeah. How are you? Yeah, good. Yourselves? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. No, no, thank you. Right. Can I start? Well, I'm, I'm biased love, for these, so. I love, I love the colour. Well, he's a massive this is fan. Like, it's like a plum, like he's really deep. I will literally purple. fight the person it. that says it's not a super nice. Nice. It is a super nice. The colour's super nice. <laughs> it is a super nice. Super nice? <laughs> Smash! <laughs> nice. See ya. <laughs> it's nice. It's a nice. Right. What are we saying? I tell you what. What are we saying is remote piggybacks. <laughs> wow. I don't really know what I'm looking at. Well, you're looking at it here. Um, That's one. You're looking at something oil. that goes like <laughs> in your hand. Oh, yeah, I want to go. And jumps this. really far. This, is this one of How those? How fast is this? It is goes this one like of those rock things that like falls down rocks. It's basically a mini version. Oh my days. I feel like this is an easy one to judge. Nice. You reckon we could get these on your bow head? We could try. <laughs> yeah. We can super nice. do some free riding. It's, so, it's a super It's nice. so good. I want to hear it. What about this? We, haven't, we haven't had a transition. Go on, Blake. Take us Look through Look at it. this one. Take us through it. Give us, give us your reason. Well, it's not on drive side. Right. The pedals are all crazy, but the, the YT behind oh. that, is that the new Jeff Z? That's my kind of colorway. Mm. I don't know. <clears throat> 36. I don't think you it's know, good, 36 yeah. is that. It's not the Catmar, is it? Which one are we judging? I'm going to say this one's a super nice. This one can't possibly be a super nice because it's got a bottle that doesn't match up with the brand of the bike and it clashes with the fork. That's very true. So no, that no, on no, paper, no, even, no. A, the even the bike is nice. on the handlebars. So would you give that a new category? He's done that on purpose. Oh, well, 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 I would well. say that. I would <laughs> say the haze brakes are good. Pro orange dials as yeah, well. Yeah, so, so that. Orange. This is that, either stock this is all or French service. That ruins it. That, that one thing, it would, it would easily we be could super take nice. It. Yeah, well, it's not yours to do super that. Super nice. That is, that's <laughs> super nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to leave it there now. I'm sorry. Oh, hold on, I'm hold sorry. on, hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, look. <laughs> Fox, there we go. There, there we, we go. go. Now there it's super we are. There we go. We fixed the problem. Fixed it. <laughs> yeah. well now it's a proper super nice. <laughs> super nice. Yeah. This game is weird. Oh, 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 you need to go in your face. No going to yeah, the gym I'm now. In your face. <laughs> Doddy's into this one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, Doddy's excited. There's, lot, there's lots of right going on. Talk, on us, there. talk us through it, Doddy. Worse well, or good? Worse than Norco if you start. So they've got a geometry right. There's a size specific geometry. 
on their bikes, which means if you're small, you have smaller change stage proportional to the size of the front frame. Yeah, but other than that nonsense, what's cool about it? <laughs> Everything! Great geometry, Bryn Atkinson rides one. That's he's, good. He's the coolest rider there is. That's good. Yeah. Is yeah. he though? Yes. He, I've got a crash on his ride. Oh, he's Bryn There's no one on earth that rides a bike like him. And he's like, well, it's it's argument. This, this guy seems to be an old dirt jumper because his uh, brake levers are facing yeah, he's got south. Chris, Chris Smith brake levers spent Yeah. There. And That's not a bad thing. Yeah. Any ideas on where you're going to go with a vote, Doddy? You're going super nice. No, I'd say nice. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, it's nice. I thought you were going to go <laughs> super nice. <laughs> yeah, I know you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I, you were going to go super nice. I can't live with the valves. Yeah, but at the least no, you spoke just well, pointing well, to blue valves the valves. Frame. I'm not on purpose. I know. So what are we saying? Super nice or nice? This bike here. I'd say nice. What? My bike? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's a oh, super mate. nice. Oh, Look, at, Look that. at that. That's oh, a that bad boy. Right, this is it, lads. This is our, f and lasses, this is our <laughs> final bike of the day. Let's judge with accuracy. Yeah. Thing is, what are yeah. you saying? I'm straight up saying that's super nice. That is 100% Look super nice. Look at the nice carbon. This is, yeah, this is the same carbon. The wheels carbons. even match the frame. This isn't XT. even hard, is it? X-Fusion, suspension, the colour of the coil. Yeah, yeah. That is so Gradient nice. wheels. On FSA. Three, on three. One, two, three. Super, super nice. nice. It is a live bike vault, yeah, that. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? We should do that again. That yeah. is a killer bike. That is really nice. It's a that's really nice. That was bloody fun. I loved the last bite. I loved it. <laughs> so I loved it. Norco, it was beautiful. Live bike vault, something we're going to do again, but I think we need to create some rules because we were all over the place. Yeah, I said a car was really super nice. Yeah, no, Everyone, and Doddy said it was something, you know, I'm just rambling. But anyway, <laughs> it was really good. It was really good. Um, I hate to say it, Blake, but that's don't the- say, Don't say it, Martin. I've got to. Just don't say it. I've got to. Don't. It's the end of the bike vault and the show this week. I can't believe you just touched me on the nose. Your nose. <laughs> um, hey, thanks for watching the Dirt Shed Show this week. It's been brilliant. We're having an absolute, absolute. <laughs> <laughs> Go. That was I sick. Loved that. The last bike, the Nork. It was incredible. It was, I loved it. I loved it. And I loved, I loved doing the live bike vault. No, I do so love it. So much fun. So much fun. We'll definitely be doing that again. Um, okay, we're gonna have to wrap the Dirt Shed Show uh, up there, no, Blake. No, please don't. We got it, man. We no, got please. it. We got it. It's the end of the day. Everyone's starting to pack down, but Everyone is packing down. we have got lots more Sea Otter Classic to come. I tell you what, all of the brand new stuff in mountain biking is here. Doddy and Anna are talking about it on GMB and Tech for the next few days. So make sure you catch that. Stay in touch with us. Thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, Blake, I guess we've got to say uh, goodbye. See ya. <laughs>